And we're back with another edition of Sims Complete. Yes. Yes, man. Why it has you... been painful here. Yeah, why? Right, this build up to this show right now because you just won't shut up, Phil. Yeah. No, you you're... talk too much. You're all red and sweating. <laughs> At least I have a little color in my skin. I mean, you are just so damn pale. Wow. It's unbelievable, wow, you know? That, You're transparent, son. That's just Get not a, that's, sit in the sun for a minute. It's good for you. This is a new day and age. You can't say that about me. Hey, why not? <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's hey, been unbelievable, though. Uh, uh, just, just the show that, before the show, right? Yeah, oh, no, we thank God do. they weren't filming. Were y'all filming us before the show came on? Oh, they're We all did, yeah. <laughs> so we'll get some sort of blooper if we can edit out all the curse Wait, words. Wait, you, really you were really filming me? Yeah, oh. don't get all tight over there. I'm not yeah. getting tight. I don't care. I'm letting it go. So, what are we going to do today? What, what the hell are we doing? Yeah, so we're here uh, really just to entertain Phil. Um, but no, we're, we're here to break down the quarterbacks for this out upcoming, or excuse me, for this NFL draft that just took place. And we're going to go through all the quarterbacks. We're going to discuss all the pros and cons. Big Phil did a great job, really more pros than cons. Big Phil yeah. did a great job of going through the film, finding the perfect plays that he wanted to. Well, that didn't he annoyed, work out. Yeah, he annoyed Luke so much here at IMP Studios <laughs> because he started with, Maybe 10,000 videos. Hey, what do you think? And Luke's like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff here. So we've narrowed it down for at least Caleb Williams, our first quarterback that we'll be discussing here today, yeah. to 11 clips, 11, well, which, started, which started at, you know, what he said, what, about 60 or 70. So we're, we're glad that we can narrow it down to, to get to. Well, it's uh, a process. <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. What movie is that? Uh, what movie? What I don't know. You well, tell whatever. Me. We'll think of it later. <laughs> Like, you know, you go from 25 and 30 down this, and all of a sudden you go, wow, this is going to take seven hours to show on TV if we do this. So I, I knocked them down. 11. It is. And we're going to be quick. I'm not going to, we're not going to overanalyze it and just kind of give some of the good that things. That is just about like so not true. That is not true. That's, that's all we do is overanalyze things as former quarterbacks, we, dissecting quarterbacks now. No, we're, you know, well, listen, you got, I think you got, I didn't see it on my Twitter or anything like that, or X, sorry. That they say, you guys are just, uh, all you show is good plays. You know, <laughs> yeah. fans were upset with us. They're like, hey, not everything is positive. I'm like, all right, man, sh I, we're not. We're not I got the, some negatives in there. We're not in the business, though, of, of tearing down, uh, you know, 20 year olds that yeah, play the we, game of can football. Can we get them in the league and yeah. after one game? You know, it's not working out. They shouldn't have drafted it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, you know, I, it, it's really not an exaggeration to say that. They'll be no, it's some pretty of these quick. Quarterbacks by week three. You know, they overdrafted him. Uh, <laughs> he went number six instead of number eight. I had him at eight. Hey, we don't give a crap what you had him at. The coaches and the, play and the <laughs> GM and all those people do it. Yep, so. already, all right, let's we're go. We're already let's do, overtime right now. That's why I do Caleb. Let's rock. <laughs> all right. I'm ready. So we're doing Caleb Williams film here. And just, you know, real quick to start here for you. Yes. What were some of the things that just jump off the page for you when you were watching his film? What do we want out of a quarterback? We yeah. want good size, mobility, a good arm, strong. Are, are you an accurate thrower? Do you have all the throws? You know, can you do that? Are you a passer? Also, and the, right. the, the, the long story was if we go through this long list, he's got them all. Yeah. He's got them all. Now, does he do some bad things? Absolutely. And he's going to do some really bad things in the NFL too early. Then he's going to go, hey, this is different. He's a great athlete. He'll adjust. And then we'll see what the product looks like after a couple years. All right, great. What do you great. think real quick? Give me five I mean, seconds. You know, I, I, I think him and C.J. Stroud, I've only been doing this now compared to your almost 30 years in the industry of, you know, evaluating players and talking about the business of football. I've only been doing it for, what, you know, a year and a half now in the NFL level. Right. And I was blessed to start last year with C.J. Stroud and seeing him and think that he was awesome. And I was like, oh, this isn't so hard, you know. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, with this year again, I just feel like, Caleb, it's – there's no knock to me, really. You know, other than, like you said, adjusting to the NFL game and yeah. what's going to be asked of him on a on a down-to-down -down basis compared to college where you can kind of play a little bit more free and loose. No doubt, yes. But uh, overall, I think Caleb is the best prospect that I've ever seen, you know, at this point in his career, what he's done, how he protects the football with how free he does play. Right. Uh, that to me is like he's the closest thing that I think we've seen since Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he reminds you of that. I watched Patrick Mahomes coming out too, and I was yeah. like, man, I don't know if this is going to work in the NFL. Well, <laughs> that was a really wise it's comment. Working. Yeah. <laughs> Our son, your son, your brother, my son, Christopher. Our son? Yeah. Yeah. He goes, he watches Patrick Mahomes like two weeks after the season's over yeah. in the NFL. 
Dad, have you watched Patrick Mahomes? Are you? I go, no, I need a break from football. Yeah, Just right. give me a little time. He's number three. should be the first right pick. You know, he went, <laughs> I'm gonna, all right, settle down, brother. Yeah. Our son, come on, settle he down. He said that about Zach Wilson, too. So, well, I don't uh -oh. know if that worked out well. But, well, all right, it's all right, okay. All right, let's go. Show Here we go. Stuff. Caleb Williams. Yes. All right, so first play here, you know, we're going to see a play action inside zone look. Uh, and, and really, you see this throughout his highlights, right, when you watch him play. It's just the effort that he – the effortless way about him in the pocket – yeah. and just driving the football down the field. Play action, looks to safety left, and then just delivers an absolute just perfect ball right down the middle, down the seam wow. uh, on a post route for a touchdown. And, you know, what's really great, though, too, is, you know, when you see this position right here, just how perfectly loaded up he is into that back foot, how he's able to turn into his body perfectly. He's in a perfect position to drive the football right down Bingo. the hash line there. And, and it's just, it's so effortless here. I mean, here the guy's, you know, almost throwing at 60 yards, and it looks like he's playing catch. Well, you can see he's braced himself so he can really rip through the football. And yeah. He, you're right. He throws the 60 yards with no effort. Yeah. So really, really stuff. impressive. And you're going to notice, too, when you watch him, right, and we kind of go through these clips, what I really enjoy the most about it is he never gets his feet, like, stuck together, yeah. right? He's never really, like, crossed over. He kind of shuffles more, and when he hitches, he kind of has that, like, got to go to a wide shot for me. He does a really good job of, like, keeping his feet separated the whole time and yeah. not getting like this or like this when he's ready to throw. And the weight is, you know, he does a great job of keeping the weight when he has time on the inside of his right foot. That's why he can throw it down the field with such ease. Here, I love this play. Yeah. A little out and up. I think it is. I, I put this stuff together. I should yeah. remember. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, <laughs> it'd be nice if you remembered. But, yeah, they're going to fake yeah. a little receiver screen here into the boundary. What I love, though, too, that you'll see throughout these clips is that he's able to, you know, look one direction, then, you know, without moving his body, and then be able to, right, just with his head, redirect, find the target down the field, and still be in a great position ready to throw. Yeah, that's a good example. This, well, these are some terrible – coverages or it's I see this coverage a lot in college yeah it's kind of a funny way of playing too deep coverage right and uh you know the NFL doesn't do this because they know they'll get shredded by NFL quarterbacks but here you know first guy down the middle look at the you could throw it down the middle to number one if you wanted yeah but nice throw it's I put this in there just because he makes it look easy throws it on the line but not too hard right on target and gives them a chance a lot of run after the catch yeah and that's I think a great point that you're making though too is that his ability to, even when guys are wide open, he just he just sticks it right on them. Yeah. Right. There's no doubt about it. It's not really he kind of like, oh, let me guide it or anything like that. He just he just rips it in there. And I gotta I think tell that's you, that's a, a great trait. To go have. ahead and let it just play, and we'll just talk. But I watched so much. Look of the at the tape. feet. Yeah. Right. See the feet separated. Load up on that right ball of his back foot. Fantastic position. Right. Just like he's a, a driver, you know, a golf driver there on the 18th hole, just ready to smack it down the middle <laughs> okay. and just an absolute rocket. Yeah, spins the ball well. So that's going to work well in Chicago with cold and wind. If you don't spin it in Chicago, good luck on having a career as a quarterback. Yeah, but, definitely. Damn right. All Damn right. right. Notre Dame. Oh, so not all good. And Notre Dame for sure yeah. had to be his worst game of his life. Right. Not in high school or college. He never had a game like this. Right. And, you know, which is good because now he knows, okay, got to pull back, whatever. You know, it's a great learning experience to have some of these bad games. Yeah. And it was bad. So. Well, it, it is. I think it's very true in football, right, is that sometimes your greatest losses and the, the biggest struggles that you have as an individual or as a team are really the greatest learning lessons, too, for you. You know, because it's hard to say, well, we won by 40. Let's really dissect what we didn't do well, you yeah. know? Like, so, hey, he struggled in this game. I'm sure he learned a lot from that. I'm sure USC themselves learned a lot from this, and, and it's good for him because, hey, there's going to be a lot of games in the NFL where yeah. it's going to be three and a half, four, you know, majority of the game where you're struggling. Yeah. But the good thing is this guy's got the ability to, yeah. to win he, on the last drive. This is the NFL. It's going to be like this. So, here, this is – it's just awesome. Good, right, to the left, scrambles. And I think his, his running, he's very mobile in the pocket, but yeah. he, he can gain some big yards down the field. Now, th explain the, to, to everyone, though, at home kind of what you love about him in this regard, though, too, with the fact that, like, when he moves, a lot of the time he has one hand on the football, yeah. right? And, and why are you a big fan of that? Not, I know for football purpose, right, it's not great ball security, 
All right, but why do you like the way that he plays? In that I like aspect? it just because of the freedom. It makes him use his whole upper body more, and he, right. that arm is free, so he can do a lot with it. Right. Side arm over the top, throw it back across the field. And, you know, I would have never thought that because we do a lot of teaching to quarterbacks, and we're like, keep two hands on and move your body. But, you know, I might have to start teaching this a little. Just put one hand on it, it just gives you more freedom with your upper body and especially your arm. And I, I don't know if I got him in these plays. I hope I do. Yeah. But uh, he's very, very good at throwing with one hand on the football. Yeah. I so. mean, this is something that the one-hand stuff is definitely something that I teach a lot with my students is just dropping back, moving, and, and being free. And really what it also kind of teaches young quarterbacks, too, that aren't maybe as talented as Caleb Williams yet in their career – but it kind of teaches you how to keep your arm a little bit more connected to your body. Good point. Right? And you don't get just so free and loose with it because you already kind of are handicapping yourself a little bit. Right. You know? Now, added with the talent of Caleb Williams, and, you know, things change real quick. But here's the freedom that he has, his athleticism, is able to accelerate down the sideline. And these are things that, to me, are, are what are really going to be the difference, right? What makes Patrick Mahomes amazing right. is not the fact that he has the throwing ability, but – you know, hey, in the Super Bowl this last year, what did we say? The, the three biggest plays by the Chiefs, one of them was the punt on special teams, and then the other two were his scrambles for big plays. No doubt. Yeah, so this is, this is really good. He's going to do this in the NFL, and he's going to have to judge. But I like what he is. He's in great position. Or position. He's just trying to find – he wants to throw it first. He runs second, yeah. throw first. And right. it's, I think a lot of people think it's the other way around. It's just every play he's freelancing. Listen, they didn't protect well, the receiving group. Is very average for pro or for college football. Damn. And it's all, yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> but that's just the truth. So go ahead. Well, there's to that guy that says we don't say anything negative about anybody, all right? Yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, here, Notre Dame Ooh. pressured, trying to make a play. And boy, this is what, this is a great example of what you will not get away with in the NFL. Looking down the field. Go ahead, let it yep. go, Matt. Sudden movement up, right? Just not wow. really seeing the field very well. Throws the interception. And this is kind of where everything kind of started to fall apart for, you know, USC in this football game. Oh, yeah. You know, and just sudden pressure off the edge. He moves up violently. He doesn't keep his eyes on the defender that's playing over the top, right? And just throws into traffic. So, you know, hey, this guy isn't perfect. And, you know, like you said, he's going to make mistakes in the NFL. But we're going to see a few other plays, though, here where he just – yeah, you know, that's another bad one. <laughs> Big Phil harping on the bad ones with the best quarterback in the draft this year. Yeah, yeah. So this, yeah. hey, look, moving left, trying to throw across his body, and Notre Dame. Here's a little dance at a blitz, whatever. Notre Dame pressured him and was all over these receivers all game. And you, that's the other thing. Just let it keep going. Is that um, you got to understand the situation, the environment you're in, and change the way you play. I mean, damn, all Notre Dame clips here, Phil. Well, the bad ones Do you are. like Caleb or what? Well, this one I was going to – but, look, he finally survived late in the game, <laughs> got away from the pressure, and got a touchdown pass. But it just yeah. shows you even in tough situations he can get it done. But go ahead. Let it yeah, go. Yeah, it on. does. And it just – you know, you're going to see here, too, that looks right, looks left. You know, then he kind of feels the rush, is able to kind of keep his wits about him. The movement, the change of direction is just spot on. And then there's a great example, too, of just the ability to kind of flick the ball with his hands so effortlessly. You know, I mean, this is just – Look uh, at the receivers. I mean, they are – what What do you want to say? R wrapped? I mean, they are – there's not, no loved. separation. Yeah. So it's good. You know, like I said, it, it's almost – you said it and I said it. Good learning experience. Now against Washington, this was an unbelievable game of quarterback play. Yeah. On both sides. Between him and – yeah, Michael yeah. Penix. But – how about that play, escaping? See, these are the things that just, like, I don't, I don't care what you say, you know. I mean, just you can't coach stuff like this, too, you know. And his ability to improvise and still stay a passer despite go. all of that. Go back, Matt. Just yeah. look back a little. We don't have to overdo it. But what, as you watch this play. Let's watch it from this here. Is, this is the one-handed throw, which he, when I've seen him do it, he makes a lot of good throws. Let's see if he, yep, there we go. Now he's free. Freeze up his upper body, good turn. As he steps with his right foot, right, wow. as he does that crossover step, he turns his upper body back, right? He's creating great opposites yeah, from the upper body from the lower body, despite the fact that he is running to his left to the sideline. That creation of opposites is creating tremendous pressure in his body, right. right? And then he's able to just throw an absolute missile on the run to quick his Quick quiz, quick quiz for everybody. I hear it all the time. Yes, Phil? Quarterback running left. Oh, that's unbelievable. He ran to his left and made a throw on the run. So what's the quiz? 
Well, is it easier to the right or to the left as a quarterback? Uh, for the majority of the students that we teach, it is to the left. It's always it's the, always yeah. to the yeah. left. It's always easier. L to the going left. left is so much easier. And everybody, oh, he did this going to his left. Well, it's <laughs> not always true. It's, for almost all of them, they learn to throw it left better than they do. The right can be hard at times. Yeah. But go ahead. Let's keep rocking through this. All right. Here we go. Let's keep rocking. Steps up. Man, here's these that. are things that I, I really am impressed with too with him when he's playing, right? It's just the quick, sudden movements in the pocket, right? Which I think will serve him extremely well. Why, the reason why I like Michael Penning so much too is just like those quick drives up into the pocket. The whole time that he's moving up too, he's in a great position to throw the whole time. Yeah, what were you run, say? run this back to start real quick. Okay. I'll, just, I'll just make a quick point, I think. I got to see it all the way up. Yeah, so yeah, keep going back. Can you do it? Yep. Hey, so. <laughs> He thinks he's going to have an easy throw to the sideline, yeah. to the outcut. Right. And just let it go. But the coverage, the inside defender, I, I saw this a lot in college football. He gets out there so fast, and they're trying to play a different coverage. But once again, down the middle of the field, it could be wide open. Yeah. But he gets off of the outcut, which he thinks he's going to have, and steps up in the pocket, and it hits the receiver down the middle who drops a pass. So, all right. Of all the plays this just, kid made in college. Well, I like seeing this, and there's another good throw, but why? This <laughs> just just shows you he gets off of one guy and finds the next. Yeah. Which is really, that's what the NFL is about. How fast can you go one, two, and get rid of it? Oh, oh there we go. Well, that's where that one handed thought, it's only good when you're throwing, Caleb, not when you're standing in the pocket and moving. He's moving. Yeah. And Washington, you know, gets a little pressure and, and, and they cause a fumble. Yeah, and this is an example, too, of what you're discussing, too, as far as the position and what's being asked at the NFL level is that, all right, easy completion, right? Throw it right here, right? Yeah. To number number 16, excuse me, in the slot. Plays over, move on, done, right? Yeah. Or even take the little, little hitch route here uh, in the slot, the little stick route uh, right in the middle of the field. Move on, plays over, you right. know? And this is something that I think just situational football and playing in the NFL game, you, you got to make those quick, decisive decisions and some of these plays. And understand that, you know, this play isn't designed for it to be this home run hitter type of play. No. It's just to be an easy completion to get you in rhythm and for us to make something happen and create a drive here. And, you know, tries to make uh, something out of nothing, and that's where he gets led into a, a little uh, tough situation here right. and causes a turnover. All right. Hey, boy, I didn't know I put so many negative plays in there for him. So. Yeah, I know. What the hell, man? <laughs> it's I mean, all right. the last time I let you do this. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Again, one <laughs> step, finding the space in the pocket, really good job. You Bill Parcells type of quarterback here. It's good. It's good. We're going to learn from your misery. Hey, Sam, the game is not about perfection. Okay, nice. Step up in the pocket, really good. Yeah. Nice and loose, good throw. And, and this is, uh, again, just a, another example of just the movement, the athleticism, right, how he's able to redirect quickly, stay in a great throwing Whoa. position the entire time, and still throw it powerfully and accurately yeah. down the field. All right. That was nice. Let's see what we got. Oh, I love this. So, yeah, this is, this is what I think, you know, you, myself, a lot of other former quarterbacks too, you know, and people who, you know, idolize Patrick Mahomes – these are the things where we're like, you just can't kind of coach this type of talent and ability. And he does this, again, very naturally. Little RPO. He's going to take the outside, you know, out route here all the way to the field. And he's able to just redirect his feet really quickly, drop his arm angle, and throw it sidearm around a defender. That's awesome. And, you know, that's, that's an easy completion. But it's only easy because he has the talent and the ability to do it. I hate to say it. Yeah, it's great. He got power because he what you've already talked about, how to do it, bracing your right leg. But also, this was down the field a little bit, but throwing screens. It's yeah. a great way to throw screens, to drop your arm, because this is easier than trying to get the ball and be Mr. Perfection. Right. And, you know, I didn't do it with him to show screens. I just take it for granted, everybody. Caleb can throw the screens. He can. But, but a lot of these college kids, I don't know if I have many great examples of it, they struggle to really get the ball and rip it out there to give the guy a big yeah. chance. Yeah, so. it's, it's not really like part of everybody's thing in college football to be a great screen. And one, because it's really difficult to coach the offensive line to do it extremely well, you know, at, at a high rate. And I feel like it's just not a, a part of the college game the way that it once was, you know, a few years ago. But maybe because of RPOs and stuff like that have evolved in a different way. Well, but, I just see, I see so many screens in every game I watch. And, 
And some of them I see. Just yeah, but they, not you, like in the the sense though of like the NFL screen game, like yeah. to the running backs in traffic. It's more of like the wide receiver bubbles. And yeah, the like bubbles. That, that's right? what, really that's kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah. When you need to really rip. Oh, it out okay, there yeah, to yeah. Me. yeah. Okay, because I was gonna say like not everyone does that. that so same that's it thing. of Caleb Williams. Is that good enough? Did, was that was that gonna make? Yeah, happy? I mean, again, a lot of negative plays there, Phil. I mean, you got a gripe here with with Caleb. What's up, man? Um, no, no gripes. <laughs> You're speechless. I, I think your I think, whole life you're speechless now. No, no, no. I think I was a little sensitive when I started reading comments about what we were saying about these guys and everything. I go, all right, I'll show you what the hell's going on. Yeah, so, what, yeah. What is going on? Well, just show them some good and some bad. Yeah, that was a lot of bad for Caleb. So sorry, man. Nothing personal. We think it's the okay. world of you, but well, damn. I think a lot of people kind of talk in these ways that the way he plays in college. Well, we know it's not going to be exactly the same in the NFL. It yeah. won't be for any of them. Right. We're going to have some gripes about everybody. <laughs> uh, but, you know, because that's what it is. Yeah. And all teams, what do you think they do? Right. Most teams go, all right, he's good. Let's see what the hell's bad. <laughs> because what do we got here? Yeah. So, that's it. So, I hear you. Caleb, Caleb Williams deserved to be the number one pick in the draft. No doubt. Uh, can't wait to see him play with Chicago Bears. Yeah, for sure. And I think his talent translates extremely well to Chicago. His skill set, his movement, his ability to throw right accurately down the football field, his power and arm talent. Got it the all. Multiple arm angles. You know, you just, again, those things are natural. Hard to coach them, especially at this point in his career. He's displayed multiple times throughout his career in, in high school and in college that he could do those things yeah. very easily. So, all right. Caleb so, Williams – Number one pick to Chicago in good hands. And, yeah, not to mention, you know, they got Roma Dunze. And I'm just telling you, that matchup's going to be awesome because I thought Roma Dunze was, was phenomenal this past year. They got year. a lot of good stuff going for them, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, who's next? That's all we got for right now. And then we're going to come back here with Jaden Daniels from LSU. So we'll be right back.